कॉन्सेप्ट नंबर थर्टीन स्वैप्स स्वैप्स आर फॉरवर्ड कमिटमेंट्स एंड ओवर द काउंटर इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स विच आर द मोस्ट वाइडली यूज डेरिवेटिव इन द होल वर्ल्ड दिस माइट बी सरप्राइजिंग फॉर यू बिकॉज वी डू नॉट टेन टू हियर अबाउट स्वैप्स इन आवर डे टू डे लाइफ राइट रिटेल इन्वेस्टर्स डू मोर इन टू ऑप्शन बट इट इज स्वैप्स इन विच द होल वर्ल्ड इज पुटिंग देयर मनी इन टू सो लेट इज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज स्वैप्स एंड वाई इज इट सो इम्पॉर्टेंट सो टू अंडरस्टैंड स्वैप्स फर्स्ट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड टू थिंग्स फर्स्ट that there can be a fixed rate payment which means that the interest payments are made at a fixed rate let's say 5% that is fixed and for the entire term of the contract you will be paying interest at this rate only and in the second case there can be a floating rate interest as well wherein the interest is linked to a reference rate and this reference rate can be libor or it can be other rates like usd bill rate etc these are floating rates because the reference rate changes periodically okay this can oh, this can go up or down and as in when this libor rate changes your interest payments will also change periodically now let us understand what problems arise because of this fixed and floating rates so let us first consider the example of a bank what are the problems faced by a bank and how does swap provide a solution to this see a bank usually requires to have their revenue streams matched with their liabilities that means whatever comes in is matched with whatever goes out now let's say if a bank is receiving a fixed payment on the loans it has given out to its customers and it is paying a floating rate on its liabilities okay so you understood that the bank is receiving fixed and it is paying floating so in this case the bank is facing significant risk because if the floating rate liability increases significantly then the bank might fall into big trouble right now in this situation think from the bank's point of view wouldn't it be nice for it if it is able to receive floating rate payments from its customers and also ensure that this floating rate is greater than what it is paying out that means the bank would like to hedge against this risk by swapping the fixed payments it receives from the loans for a floating rate payment that is higher than the floating rate it needs to pay out okay so in this case effectively this bank will have guaranteed that its revenue is greater than its expenses and therefore it will not find itself in a cash flow crunch this concept of receiving floating against fixed is called nothing but swapping right so to do this all it has to do is go to the otc market and look for a party which is willing to receive fixed payments and pay floating to the bank and if the bank manages to strike a deal where the floating rate it will receive is let's say libor plus 1.5% and the floating rate that it is currently paying is libor plus let's say 1%. So in that case the bank is going to have a guaranteed surplus, right? So this is how the swap instruments solve big problems for these large financial institutions. This is why swaps are the most widely traded derivatives in the global market. All right? But this is not it. this is we have talked from the point of bank but don't you think there are other players in the market who can benefit from such situations by swapping fixed and floating interest rates right there are speculators out there which are usually hedge funds so those uh, speculative hedge funds which have an expertise in forecasting future interest rates which usually have an idea whether the they which can sense that whether the interest rates are going to go up or down in the near future 
so they may be able to make huge profits by engaging in high volume swaps then thirdly not only banks and hedge funds there are corporate entities as well right there are companies which also enter into swap transactions usually the most common scenario is let's say there is a company x limited or x incorporated and this company has access to a loan with uh, let's say 5% fixed rate interest while the market rate of interest is let's say 6% because of its uh, credit history it is able to access this loan at a relatively cheaper rate okay but this company is not interested in making fixed interest rate payments it is interested in making floating rate payments okay it maybe it finds it convenient to pay in, pay in floating rates or it may be the case that the company senses that the rates are going to fall in the near future so it feels that the floating interest rate would be beneficial for this company so for any of these reasons if the company wants to swap the fixed payments with the floating rate so what it should do if the company approaches a bank directly to offer it a floating interest rate in that case the cost of the loan will increase so in order to avoid this situation what this x x limited company can do it can accept this loan offer of fixed rate payment from the bank and then go to the otc market and find a party which is ready to accept floating payments and pay fixed payments okay let's say y limited so in that case the problem is solved yes it will it, it will also have an access to the cheaper interest rate option and then it can swap these fixed payments with floating interest rate with another company in the otc market so this is how companies or corporations can take advantage of swaps but these examples that i have been giving you are all related to interest rate swaps okay this is just one type of swaps but there can be other swaps as well like currency swaps so as the name suggests what will happen in case of currency swaps you will be uh, exchanging payments in two different currencies okay let me give you an example let's say there is one company in the us and it is setting up a project in india so to set up a project in india it will have to take a loan in india in the indian currency that is inr right in that case this company will be facing two risk first that is related to the currency exchange rates and the in, and then the interest rate risk as well right where it will have to keep tracking when the reserve bank of india is changing its policies on interest rates in india right so this is going to be a hassle for this company so what this company wishes for it would be highly convenient for this company if it were able to make the interest payments in usd itself right so all it has to do is go to the otc market and look for a company in india which might be doing some projects in the us right so it can swap the usd payments with the loan in indian rupee so in that case this us company will be paying the interest in usd only and the indian company will be paying the interest in inr only so this will save both the companies from the hassles of currency exchange rates and also the interest rate changes that are taking place in the other countries thirdly swaps also find their application in the equity market as well which is called equity swaps so in case of equity swaps this allows the investors to pay the return on one stock index and receive the return on another index or they can also receive a fixed rate as well okay similarly there can be another category as well which is called the basis swap basis swap means one party might make payments at libor whereas the other might make payments on the basis of the us treasury bill rate so this is it all about swaps we will see a practical sum on swaps in the next reading